everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the EFJ Show. I'm your host, Ernest Files Jr. Today's guest, we go way deep in Florida, y'all. I mean, not deep, deep, not South Florida, Miami. We're talking about Avon Park and, 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 and Sebring area. That's where we're going at. We got today's, day, well, today's guest going to be no other than the B. I, look, I, and Big M, Bim Mathis. And we also got his manager from Campfire Entertainment, Joe Johnson Young. Y'all call him Joe Young. Okay, Joe okay. Johnson. My guy, my guy, my guy. <laughs> good to be on the show, man. How y'all doing? How you doing? Good, oh. good, good. You know, I, I had these guys on my radio show, man. They got great reviews. And they, they, they keep on playing the uh, interview over and over and over. I'm just glad to have y'all up here in the ATL, man, glad to on be my show. Glad to have y'all here. How you doing, Joe, and how you doing, Bim? Welcome to the EFJ Show. Let's talk about it. How you doing? Bless, bless. <laughs> how, you, how you doing? Bless, 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 you know? Yeah, man. Oh, no. Like an old guy told me, I'm just happy to be on this side of the grass. <laughs> 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 well, you know, that's a good thing, right? You ain't pushing up no daisies. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> you know what? I want I to uh, not prolong the show, but I just want to get right into the question. Time is an essence here. Okay. So, therefore, we're just going to get right into it. And I just want to know, and I ask all my guests, I want to say, Joe, then I want to uh, be him. Be him and Joe. Tell me, what is your profession? Well, my profession is I'm the artist, you know what I mean? I make the music. I get behind the microphone, you know what I mean? I do my thing. Yeah. Well, my profession is Count Five Entertainment. I'm a manager, and I got to make sure this guy <laughs> get out to you people. Oh, you know what, man? You know, last time I had you guys on my radio show, man, and y'all, like I said, y'all got good, good reviews, but I just want to jump back, and I want to go back in the past, a little bit. I know you got. I heard you got a new up and coming, a new album out, a new single album. We'll talk about that. But right now, I want to come back where I first talked, had the interview. We want to talk about this thing, the CD, pressure, pressure, pressure. Bim, I want you to tell the listener audience about pressure. What made you do pressure? Uh, pressure actually come from pressure. Know what I mean? Being under pressure. My brother was killed by the police October 8th, last year, 2016, you know, and it just, it rubbed me, it rubbed me the wrong way, you know what I mean? Instead of, so instead of putting it into a bad way, doing bad things with it, I just put it all into my music, you know what I mean? Dropped that song, that was the first song I really dropped off the um, album, you know what I mean? And we ran with it from now. You know, I, I, I see, I heard that whole CD, I like the whole CD. And, and 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 the video that complement that CD with pressure, the video really one brought that song out. Especially when Paul, you went to the graveyard, and I think your cousin got killed too, or something like that. Tell yeah. us about that as well. Well, actually, it was it was three three of my homeboys got killed in one night. You know what I mean? So, mm. and I, I actually was like around all of it while it was going on. You know what I mean? So, it made me look at life a lot different. You know what I mean? So. I just feel like what what made you, what at that point, Bim, you could have just got out, got revenge, and want to go get the gun, say, "Hey, I'm going to take him out." But what made you say, "No, I want to put this thing in a song"? I mean, because at the time I was doing music, I was already, I was doing, I was doing a couple shows here and there. You know, what I mean, they used to be on stage with me, mm. like we we rocking the show. You hype. Know I mean? So it was already, I was already on my way when it happened like that. You know what I mean? So I just. It just put the flame up on under me to go harder. You know what I mean? So that's what it was. Well, you know, uh, man, I mean, let me tell you something, man. You have, since pressure, you have been doing the thing, man. You've been constantly, well, the one thing about you, I see you, FaceTime, stuff like that. You are very humble. But you talk, you talk the street talk. But yet still, you have a message in your music. You have a message in your, your, your talk when you're giving on FaceTime. You keep it real. And, you know, I, I didn't give big up respect to you, but it, it, Joe. Joe is a very big influencer. Tell us about Bim, and when did you just know that he had the talent? Well, this is something that y'all don't know. He's cocky. 
I get to hear it. Uh-huh. But to the people, they don't hear it. But you know, he, at, at the end of the day, he's a very humble kid. He, I mean, he's a very young, humble young man. I'm sorry. And, you would have great straight that. Yeah, I got straight that. He's a very <laughs> humble young man. And I mean, he's talented. And the right. only thing that he wants to do is make music. I mean, you have some people that they say, okay, I want to make music because it's going to get me girls. It's going to get me recognition. Yeah, go ahead. He make music because if he can't make it, I think he'd rather not even be here. Hmm. You know what? Pressure. I, I, I like that song. I like that song. And, and, and it's a strong song. When you was recording Pressure in the recording studio, did you write that lyrics or... Mm-hmm. Did it come off the top of your head? I heard something about that. <laughs> tell both of y'all, Joe. Y'all jump in and tell, tell me about that. Well, I'm going to start it off. That's when we first started working together, right? You know, he's, he, we family. He's my little cousin. Okay, go ahead. So Good. we first started working together. I was like, I want you to come to the studio. Do this, do this track with me. But you better know what you're doing. Because you get a lot of cats that don't really know what they're doing. They just want to rap. So he said, I'm telling you, cuz, I'm, I'm telling you, just wait, wait, I get there, watch what happened. So I, I hit the record button, he went to rapping, he finished the first verse. First of all, he didn't write it, it just was coming off the top. He finished the first verse, I stopped it, and I turned around and I looked back at him, and he gave me this look like, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bill, so, so, Bill, you just, you, you ain't write those lyrics, didn't you? You did them right on the spot, huh? You did them on the spot. I mean, what was in your mind at the time when you was doing it on the spot? What, what motivated you to spit like that that night I mean, in the recording studio, Bill? It come from the heart, you know what I mean? I see it before I, before I even, you know what I mean? So why write it, you know what I mean? I already see the picture in my head. I know what I want to say. I know what's going on. So I just get in there and do it. And you know what? That's super. That's what Lil Wayne does. You know that, right? You just go in the studio, turn it on. And he go at it. And, and the amazement, this is where the gifts come in. This is where the talent is. You spit that thing down, you didn't write nothing. But yet still, you could go back and perform that same song <laughs> word for word in the same identical way. That's talent. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, That's yeah. the difference between an artist and a person that's saying karaoke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but they got to see the words. But you, you do your song just like it is. We're going to move on. Tell me something, Joe. Who is, what is Camp 5 Entertainment? Well, first of all, Camp 5 Entertainment is, is, is a company that I created because it it's actually stands for Constantly Applying Pressure Times 5. Times 5. I'm, so- you- I'm sorry. Constantly Applying Massive Pressure Times five. Now you better straighten that. <laughs> I, well, I got to straighten you, you it out. Straighten that. <laughs> I but stand you know by what? that slogan. <laughs> but and, you know what? And you know what? After that, standing by massive pressure, we're going to go into our first break. We'll be back with more of Camp Five, Joe Johnson and Bill Mathis, the artist. about this right here. Bim, Bim Mathis coming back from nothing too. This is a new CD. Go out and check it out on YouTube. Bim Mathis. Welcome back to the ELJ show. Let's talk about it. I'm your host, Ernest Faust Jr. Today's guest, way down from South. We, get, we got Mr. Bill Mantis, the artist, and we got Joe Johnson from Cap 5 Entertainment, the management. Welcome to back to the ELJ show. Let's talk about it. Going on. Well, happy to be here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you know what? Uh, can I just jump right into it? Uh, Bim, we're going to talk about, since you put out pressure, how has the community which you live in respond to your CD? Oh, man, they going berserk, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they, going, they, 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 showing, they showing like maybe love, you know what I mean? Yeah. Shout out to them. Shout out to my fans and all my family, you know what I mean? Everybody support me. It's going real good, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's good, man. That's good. And Joe, you want to talk a little bit more about that? And what does Bim do in the community by giving back to the community? I mean, he, he's a big influence. Just, just the fact that he's trying to get out, giving them. The best thing you can give somebody is hope. Come on now. 
<laughs> you know, and I think that's what he does. He gives them hope. And then once we, we get to where we need to be, we're going to give back. We're going to start something called, what it's called? What you want to start? Bad. Yeah, the Bim Bass. Yeah, you know, I, I, funny you mention that because that, that's the next question I was going to ask you, Kat, about community giving back. Tell us about the Bim Bash. What is the Bim Bash, Bim? Uh, I mean, the Bim Bash is going to be amazing, you know. Like, you giveaways for the kids, free food, you know, music, probably basketball tournament. Wow. Softball, anything like up the hill, like in my neighborhood, you know what I mean? Like everything. How, Bill, tell me, uh, Joe, you can help if you want mm-hmm. to. Bill, tell me, since your brother death, how has the, 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 the community has came together surrounding and supporting you with love? How um, since your CD been out? Oh, they came, in, they, they came in a major way, you know, and it helped me out a lot, you know what I mean? It motivated me, keep me going and stuff. Because, like, they know, everybody really know me as a person, you know what I mean? I was always... People, person move around, communicate with everybody, you know. So they helped me out a lot. Respect. They respect it. They respect it. You know what I mean? Well, Bill, tell me something. Who was that lady in the video <laughs> that woke you up and told you getting in your junk, told you get on up? And to who was that lady? Oh, that was my mom. <laughs> 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 that's, her. that's really her. Wait, is that really her film? That's really her. <laughs> Y'all got to see that video. She was <laughs> night, man. <laughs> she <laughs> night. That's really her. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? See, that's a good driving force. The powerful woman, man. I mean, very. She's a strong black woman. I yeah. can tell you that. See, if you look deeper to the video, you can tell that she ain't. She ain't playing on me because you can tell how she. She get to me a little bit, like yeah. for real. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, oh, man, let me get on up out of here, man. No. Yeah, yeah, you said you'll do that for real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she went to she went to get in that. Man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Joe, yes sir. Let's get back on you for a second, yes sir. Joe, tell me something. When Bim in the studio, is he disciplined? He's very disciplined. Why very. you say that? Because he he's a hard worker. I don't have to really. Coach him. Like, I, all I do is hit the button, and then, you know, sometimes I'll be off of my square. And, you know, I really don't, you don't really feel like recording all the time. And he'll be like, well, cuz we can't do it today because you ain't giving me no input. Well, I bet I'm tired. Yeah, yeah you get tired from that. <laughs> you know, I'm tired, but, I mean, he's a hard, dedicated worker. I mean, it, it tells in his music. All you got to yeah. do is just go listen to his music. You can tell. I mean, he sings, he raps. He, he's he's an excellent student of the game. Good, good. Uh, tell me, uh, I I once heard uh, Bim that you you not a sing a little bit too. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I've been doing I've been doing this for a little minute. I sang all in churches. <laughs> like, you know, choir boys. I used to do that. Man, they give me gifts. Yeah. <laughs> Small time heroes when I was small, we go do shows yeah. all the world and stuff. Like, yeah, my uncle used to run that. I write all the music. I mean, I've been doing it for a little minute, you know. I never thought that it'll get serious like that. I never took it serious though, you know what I mean? Until that happened with my brother. So Yeah. It's fun. It's I mean? fun, it's fun, yeah. right? Yeah, it's fun. Mr. Joe. Yes, sir. Where do you see Bill in the next three years? The next three years? Well, we said we got goals set. The first year, we all, the year almost up, right? And we here with you. Mm-hmm. In three years, I really honestly want to be sitting in the Grammys because as an artist, you want to be known for your writing. And that's what he does great. So I want him to be in the Grammys. I mean, we ain't worried about the money that'll come. We don't, we don't, we don't. Now you talking. We don't, we don't care about none of that. We, 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 we chasing the dream. We, we, we chasing the goals, and the rest will come. So in the next three years, I just want to be sitting in the Grammys with my tux on beside him getting ready to go on stage and accept this award. And you know what, people? We'll be right back. We're going to a break. We'll be back with Bill Mathis and Joseph Johnson from Camp 5 Entertainment. about this right here, Bim, Bim Mathis coming back from nothing to 
This is a new CD. Go out and check it out on YouTube. Bill Mathis. Welcome back to the EFJ show. Let's talk about it. I'm your host, Ernest Faust, Jr. We got the one and only Mr. Ben Mathis in the house, and we got Mr. Joe Young from Camp 5 Entertainment. How y'all doing, man? Welcome back to the EFJ show. Let's talk about Happy it. Happy to be here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bill, uh, uh, man, uh, I see y'all dress. What about your style? Where you get your style from, J Bill? Who in inspired you or you just came up with your own I mean, style? It's in my blood, you know what I mean? <laughs> but at the same time, my mom got swag, my dad got swag. I, but I really picked it up off my dad. Yeah. You know what I mean? I used to watch my dad, and he, he put it on me. He had, he had my clothes and the cleaners. You know what I mean? I just, you well-groomed cat. You, you one thing I've been watching about you, and you you very well-groomed. You're a hip-hop. I see. Why you didn't choose to do the dreads? The dreads? <laughs> nah, man. I ain't, I ain't never. I never had dreads. I mean, I tried to go at it one time, and I looked, I was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah man. You clean cut, I man. Like yeah, low, but, you know. Yeah. yeah. Tell me something, Bim. What, what, what do you want the kids to look at you as? What in, in a motivation or inspiration you want to give out to the kids? I mean, you can be what you want to be. I mean, don't let nobody tell you you can't. Can't do this or can't do that. You know what I mean? You can do what you want to do. You can be what you want to be. And age don't mean nothing. You know what I mean? That's good, man. Joe, let's talk about Camp 5. I see you is pushing that old brand. Hey, I like that you jacket, like that jacket. Bro. You know, that's a beautiful brand, man. Hey, it's Camp 5. Let me see that thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good, man. <laughs> Yeah, and, and I understand you got a new CD coming out, a new release. What's the name oh, of it? Um, coming from nothing too, actually. Coming from nothing too. Okay. You know, um, that's the, the, the spin off of one, and it's actually good. I mean, from front to back. The, the, the different thing that he did on this one, he had more features. On okay. the first one, it was just Bill. On this one, we went out and we, Collab. we, we did a lot of collabs. And that's sweet, man. You know, that's what it does. We was in a, on a discussion of the panel one. Uh, he was talking about the collab. That's what my thing is take is uh, on an independent artist want to get really get their stuff out there. Do try to get a collab that's somebody that's very hot in your area at the time mm -hmm. in your level that's doing the same thing you doing and pull them in and let it, it's called leveraging. You understand? Yes, sir. Use what you got to get your. It ain't all about. Remember we talk about selfish. You can't be selfish. Let everybody eat. One thing I learned about you, uh, togetherness, when everybody happy in a corporation, they work a little harder. That's true. What you think about that, That's Joe? very true. Why? Hey, because, I mean, everybody, when you're happy, you work harder. When your wife is happy, he loves you harder. I mean, it's a, when you're happy, you're happy. You're happy, when you're, you're happy. happy. So when you're in a happy space, you give, like they say, when you look good, you feel good. Ooh, when you feel good. <laughs> you look good. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> That's good, man. Hey, Bill, tell me something, man. W talked about that new uh, single right there. What's that first release off that new single called and why you wrote it? The first release off uh, Comfort 92? Mm -hmm. I probably have to, What was the first release called? Never Had? Never Had. With Never Javon, had. Javon Black. Black. That's Tampa. right. Shout That's out, why I don't bring it out. Shout out to Javon Black. Shout out to Javon Black, man. Why you wrote that song? And I, he actually sung it to me. I did a show with him. Know what I mean? He liked my style. He liked how it was coming. And he 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 said he wasn't he wasn't gonna let me get to where I'm going without without him putting his little two cents in there. You know what I mean? See that? So them? he he sent me the track, and when he sent it to me, he sent it straight to me. Like the words, what he's saying, I know he's talking to me. You know what I mean? So I did my thing on it, and it, it's doing good. Did you did the lyrics, or you did it winning raw? You 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 did his lyrics. He he sent you the lyrics as well. No, he sent me the hook. He oh, the hook. the hook. You pulled it. It's cut out. I did the rest. No you did I mean? the rest. Okay. Yeah, he just sent me the hook, and I I did my thing on it. You know what I mean? And it's it's, it's it make major noise. Well, tell me something. What you gonna do when you what you gonna do when you first win that BET Soul Train Award for New Artist of the Year? <laughs> I mean, I don't even know. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
That's a good thing. You can't make up nothing. You can't make up nothing. You can't make up that type of stuff. But you know what, man? I, it's, it, I'm so glad to have y'all guys on the show. That, and coming a long way that, like y'all did. And that's re- really respect. For, I respect y'all for doing that. You know, sometimes you start off a little. It ain't about the start. It's all about the finish, right? Yes, sir. And sometimes things start off a little rocky. Even when you're going through things. That's true. But you know what? Let it smooth out. It will smooth out. You know, and that's what it's all about. Networking, marketing, meeting, greeting new people. Because somebody's going to always give you a word of an encouragement, of inspiration. That's why they say you know, I'm self-made. Nobody's self-made. No. Because they took something from somebody along the way. Right. Now, it wasn't all of them. That's how it's self-made. It ain't such a thing as self-made. It's made. We made it. We made it. <laughs> See, I believe, I truly believe that you took something from here when you came up to a day to uh, this weekend. That's and idea. go back and put it to work. Well, I like to close. And I like to thank Bill Mathis and Mr. Joe Johnson from Camp 5 Entertainment. Go out and look, check out YouTube at BIM new, new video and also pressure. I got, I like that. <laughs> Joe, check it out. Just go check out BIM on YouTube and you'll see what all the fuss and all the hype, all the turn up is all about. BIM, B I M, that's the B, big B, little I, big M. Bill Mathis from Florida. Thank you very much. Hey, I'm EFJ Show. Welcome to the EFJ Show. I'm going out. And I'm talking everything. But y'all got me so turned over here. I, <laughs> I'm glad. I'm so glad y'all came here. I'm and I got to close here. and say, hey, thank you for coming to my show. This is the EFJ Show. Let's talk about it. I'm your host, Ernest Faust Jr. And I truly believe that God is real. Be blessed.